Has anybody seen the latest nonsense coming out of Florida? Tonight, a deadly shooting in Sanford. Police have the gun. They've got the shooter, but they have not arrested him. 26-year-old George Zimmerman. He shot this hoodlum. A young, defenseless, 17-year-old boy. A violent thug. Tyvone Martin. Who walked to the store to get himself an iced tea and to get a pack of Skittles for his brother when a racist murdered him in cold blood. Zimmerman on a neighborhood watch patrol calling 911 to report a suspicious person that he saw was because that neighborhood has had a rash of break-ins. Of course, the only thing suspicious about Trayvon is the fact that he was black. You're gonna try to tell me that a fucking kid looks like this isn't suspicious? Look at him flipping off the camera with his pants, hanging down his ass. These assholes, they always get away. He automatically got a preconception on what he think Trayvon was. Shit, he's running. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. So Trayvon Martin's girlfriend turns out that he actually called her as he was being chased down by Zimmerman. True, Zimmerman did follow him, but gave up the search when he lost him. Guess who turned around to jump bad? Can I say which which is off that in your phone? Minutes later, the unarmed 17-year-old dying on the sidewalk. That's right. Zimmerman decided he was going to come back. Not Zimmerman. Tyvone. He said something to the effect of, you're going to die now at that point. He jumped him. He knocked him down. And beat the shit out of George Zimmerman. Okay. And is it a male or female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. And he told police he was yelling for someone to help, but no one would. I don't think for a fucking second. That was Zimmerman screaming for help. An eyewitness corroborated it. The guy on the bottom, who I believe had a red sweater on, was yelling to me, help, help. When you hear that, I hear George. It's a new twist in the Trayvon Martin case. Two audio experts who say the screams heard on the 911 tapes are not from George Zimmerman. I do hear George. They, they hear their... Their teenager. I'm sure they do. To hear his last words being cries of help, it tears me apart as a father. Just send someone quick. Say, ah. okay. Does he look hurt? You? I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So they're sending. Continue to be George. And at some point, George. And he shot the poor little boy dead. But this whole situation is a nightmare. I would have shot him too. And George showed tremendous restraint. In a heartbeat. He stopped someone from disarming him. He didn't pull out a gun and shoot him. George pulled his pistol. They claimed he has a broken nose. I suffered a broken nose. His nose looks perfectly fine. They're a gash to the back of his head. They see a slight cut. They see a cop looking at that slight cut. Well, what you're able to see in this enhanced video is, is marks on the back of Mr. Zimmerman's head. The fact that he doesn't seem to have significant bruises or serious bodily injury. Emergency responders canceled the second ambulance called to take Zimmerman to the hospital. And I think we all assume that Trayvon must have done something. We right? do know that he wasn't doing anything wrong. We do know that. We know he had no weapons, but it's had Skittles guys. and a phone. There's no evidence that suggests that young Trayvon Martin... He's a thug, motherfucker! ...was a bloodthirsty sociopath. On some kind of bloody rampage. And likewise, the idea that George Zimmerman was just this cold-hearted racist. He got such a hard-on to shoot this nigger. George had no intention of taking anybody's life. He's the neighbor that everybody would want to have. Uh, it looks like Martin's got all sorts of stuff in his past. He uh, was in fact suspended from school. Oh my God! Likely for a drug activity. The empty bag of marijuana residue. Smoking weed has nothing to do with this case. In fact, I have never seen people on pot get in a fight because it is fucking impossible. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got a lot of... Tattoos, some people say that they're gang related. He was allegedly caught with a bag full of woman's jewelry. Oh, the truth man. is coming out about George yeah. Zimmerman. He was looking for trouble. The neighbors had complained about him. This lunatic keeps calling things in. 46 times in the last 15 months, obviously the man was aggressively looking for criminal activity. It was almost like he was in the mood to hunt. Like a rabbit dog. Zimmerman was arrested for resisting a Florida law enforcement officer. Violence and battery. He lost his security job for being too aggressive. One of his co-workers said he was like Jekyll and Hyde. When the dude snapped, he snapped. And he carries a loaded gun. Some wonder why Zimmerman had a loaded gun in the first place. Neighborhood watch is neighborhood watch, not neighborhood shoot. But is that his job as the captain of the neighborhood watch when a dispatcher says, 
you don't need to follow them. I don't know. I've never been a neighborhood watch captain. Do you actually think people believe that fucking bullshit? You're telling me a guy who decides to follow a teenager around? George Zimmerman doesn't have the right to pursue anyone. Call 911 countless times. Some guy comes up to me in the middle of the night. I might beat the hell out of him too. And then shoot the kid to death. Might overreact sometimes. Hard to believe, Lewis. Some people say it was racist. This wasn't nothing to do with racism. Trayvon Martin was a vicious young hoodlum. You know, I'm sick and tired. We do. We gangs. We kill. Of the blacks. Could it have been fucking goons? It's the difference between a C and a G. It doesn't seem as logical, and it sounds more like coons than goon is apparently a term of endearment in the high schools these days. Fucking goons. <laughs> you know how they are. Let me go shoot them. And then you got these people who automatically assume that Zimmerman was white. He was shot by a white man. A white man. A white guy. Javon is black guy is white. It is the ugly head of racism. You blacks has got to be the biggest racist on the planet. A group of black males and females were out at the fair yelling out that it's beat whitey night. Hmm? A large group of black teenagers rampaged through the midway late Wednesday and there were several attacks that may have been racially motivated. Like they were kicking at my sister, like they kicked her head. The Zimmerman guy and his woman were mentoring for free to black kids. This guy's not a racist or nothing. It's not about that. It's more prejudice. It's black people and it's niggas. <laughs> Coon. Not raccoons, you idiot niggas. This is a racially motivated hate crime. But still, no arrests in this teen tragedy. The uh, news media is out exaggerating. Showing photos of him when he's 12 years old instead of 17. So it turns out the thug picture of Trayvon Martin wasn't actually Trayvon Martin. All y'all look alike. These Zimmerman defenders just completely making things up. And, and if the truth doesn't support their narrative, they just change the term. Yeah, you know, edited his shit up, you know. Letting out little bits of information, just enough to make us angry, but not enough to let us know what really happened that night. It's just stupid. Yeah, and it's a diversion from Obama. Because we all know it's about making that money with the media. But whenever it can be about playing groups of Americans off against each other, fuck the media, okay? The mainstream corporate media that wants to divide and conquer is there. Yeah, so more diversions while the country is just burning. Clearly, if all this newfound focus and attention forces a more thorough and just investigation, we will all be better off. Where do we go from here? Through the door, and this is gonna be a nightmare. You live like a thug, you die like a thug, and now the poor little thug is dead. Rest in peace, Trayvon, you'll be missed. But thank you for what you're doing across the world with your life. You are turning a vicious young hoodlum. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. The gangster wannabe into a saint. Imagine how his family is right now and how they feel about the situation. I, I, my heart goes out to them, my prayers go out to them. And look at all these idiots saying. You're Trayvon Martin, Whitey? I am Trayvon Martin! What about this fucking Chinaman motherfucker? He's Trayvon Martin too? I think you forgot your fucking grill! This case is becoming increasingly polarized. I forgive Zimmerman. Today there were rallies, all of them in support of the slain teenager. Isn't the fact that we're all human binding enough? I ain't never seen so many people with so many different colors coming together, man, marching with signs and all that good stuff. They were caught on camera running through a drugstore while protesting Martin's death. They weren't really thinking right because they were so angry. I am not going to lie. I was one of the people that was pushing up there. I was mad. Don't you think this hurt your cause by destroying the place and stealing things? I was just angry. I mean, y'all gonna push these white folk till they can't take it no more. I'm telling you. Part of the issue, people just need to be mad and they just don't even know who to be mad at. And all of a sudden, Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman are turned into both heroes and villains and we kind of cast our projections on them. Not only would I put him on the, on the electric chair, shave his skin off, but I would pray to whoever I gotta pray to give me the powers to resurrect his ass. I want gasoline oil so I can keep over electric in his dream. Again, I want, again, I want, again, and 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 again, up the flames. This is the kind of justice I want for this boy. My son did not deserve to die. 
You kill mine, damn it, I got to kill yours. Black power. It's only an eye for an eye. Making the whole world blind. I made that show about Ty Bone, and I want to thank all of y'all for making that thing viral. Gave me $100 in ad since money. That's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. Some things will never change.